Alrighty, let's watch this here. Okay, cool. As an exercise, this works. Otherwise, I will probably stage this a bit more around here. So it's kind of falling into somewhat my crappy thirds. <laughs> Holy moly, it's not even a third. But anyway, just for a general presentation. Walk-wise, we are still in harsh step mode areas where you have the character take a step here and then from here to here. I would definitely spline this so we can kind of see the overall timing and also how that's going to work when you have them kind of being in the air almost at the same time. And then spacing wise, you have moments where the body goes forward and then locks on that turn. You can see this here. It pivots off of here where I would continue that lean just a bit. You have to kind of ease into this so that you don't have that sudden move from here to here. Because also physically you would have to kind of really push off this foot to go over there that fast. I know it's just a one frame step pop, but instead of holding it like this, imagine that you're doing this and then on that you're already leaning not from here but to here so that it kind of flows into that a bit nicer. And then I like your, but the overall timing of boom, 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 I think you could have a little bit of a, a little bit of a hold here. So he turns and imagine he is here, but maybe slightly leaning over. Turn with a slight hold so your spacing wouldn't be, and then sit down. But he moves over, it starts to slow down a bit, and then sits down. Boom. And that's cool. I like that. I like the, the feel of the chair. You could probably roll and ease in a bit more. But then especially your legs, they would, since they're not hitting any of this here, they would start swinging back a bit with a dangling feel. And also body-wise, you sit down and after that, it's kind of done. So I think if, if, since you have still a bit of movement and turn there, I could have, again, like the dangling feet, you could relax into the chair a bit, so the elbows could flare down a bit. Yeah, the main issue once you spline this is going to be this here. That turn, hold. And then once we see it with the spline, you know how the fingers will curl and hold. It's a bit hidden through there, but I would have a, a stronger grip on this one. It seems like there's a little bit of grip in this. And that's that. Yeah, just watch out for that spacing there. And then spline this out. I'm also curious how that's going to feel when he shoots back so quickly. You might have to have a bit of an overshoot a bit or like a soft hit into the chair with a bit of an extra movement in the head. Not super sure yet. So yeah, I would say spline this and then let's take a look at it. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.